see if these guys are following the rules properly. My dad was very, very specific about getting this right. He's smoking. So let me look here. What's going on? Is this, is, is this true to the Pennsylvania tradition here? It is. Right. Philly way. Right. Well, it's looking right. How's the meat doing? It's going great, great behind you. I'm glad you said that because I was about ready to step into it. And then, then I would have been the meat. Look at this thing. It's pretty crazy. Oh, well, so is someone going to come and get us? I got it. Well, yeah. I was just coming down and uh, inspecting. Yeah, send down my ride. <laughs> yes. Send down our ride. I worked all day. I'm not walking up and down the hill. You positioned this thing a little too far from the house. Well, it could have been right there. But you know something? The whole idea was it was supposed to be away from the house. Oh, this is the first time we used this thing. I mean, the kids used it, but I didn't use it. This is the first time I've ever seen it. Looks like scarab bread, doesn't it? <laughs> Look like cinders in here. <laughs> That's the human sacrifice of scarab bread. <laughs> it's bizarre. Are you going to stay down? His pants are too tight. started like a um, good 15 years ago, um, Gabriel Roth and, and also Neil Sugarman. They were just starting record labels and they were pretending <laughs> to just make just 45s and to fool people that these 45s was done in the late 60s and the early 70s. And so they would just record stuff and put it out and put no date on it. And, and actually, um, collectors was going around collecting these records thinking they was like, who's Sharon Dillon? I've never heard of Sharon Dillon that thing. Oh, she must, is she still alive? <laughs> and, and like DJ, uh, what's his name, DJ Grayboy, he found our album Dap, Dap Dipping, and he actually thought it was done in the 60s. So he's like, so how old are you now? I'm like, what do you mean? You know, I'm like, I'm, he's like, when was this done? You know, how old are you? I'm like, I'm 50, like, what? You know, and he really thought that it was, was done. I was like 70 something years old, and, and shouldn't be on my kitchen, she still sing like that. And so, yeah, that, that was the whole purpose. And that, from them starting that, and then just um, finding um, old soul singers, like Lee Fields, who was, you know, he was on that, they used to call it the Chitlin Circuit. And they were just looking for background singers for Lee Fields. So I went in and said, hey, why well, use three girls? I can do all three-part harmonies, and, and that's how I got started with the Dab Kings. 